All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here, I don't really have a title, but I was reading uh, Second Ezra, the seventh chapter, and uh, mainly, you know, just speaking on. Um, the straight gate and how you know there there's a, a certain path that the heavenly father Yahweh, all right by Hashem Yahweh Shai has set forth you know for his uh you know servants let's say the elect to make it into his rest you know what's that uh Hebrews what's that uh Hebrews 4 Baba Kushai, let me see if I grab that All right, this is a um, quick precept. This is Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any one, excuse me, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. All right, now that rest represents salvation. Okay, so let me read that one more time. It says, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. And I know that also lets you know that there's a promise, okay, given to the Lord's hopeful elect to receive salvation and receive paradise here on earth as it is in heaven. All right, which is the order in the fourth dimension among Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It's going to be the order and ordinance here on earth. Okay, when you have a shot, get back. It says, any of you should seem to come short of it because there are some that will come short of it. You know, the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. It says, for unto us was the gospel preached. Now, the word gospel means what? Good news. So the good news was preached, right? As well as unto them. Okay, and that's why in uh, Matthew's, I believe you have a shot. He said, um, I believe, yeah, Matthew's, yeah, I believe it's in the red. Um, he said that uh, this gospel shall go forth through the four corners of the earth and then shall the income. All right, roughly paraphrasing. So there's no excuse. There is no cloak. Okay, so it says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Okay, so the word, which is Yahweh Shai, the word Yahweh Shai, okay, the prophecies, okay, the law, statutes, and commandments, it was preached, but it did not profit them, okay, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. They wasn't mixed with the faith, all right? You come into this truth, and you believe in the word, you believe you're an Israelite, all right? You believe the scriptures, you believe Yahweh Bashmi I was shy, it should be in faith. Paul said, Have thou faith, have it to thyself before the most high. So it should be in faith. So if it's not with faith, then it's what? Sin. So it says, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So not everybody that, you know, claims and shouts out, call me Asha Allah, all right, is not really mixed with the faith. They just want to be a part of something. Now, verse 3: For we which have believed. Do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Okay, and um, I think that's a uh, second address. Matter of fact, uh, bear with me, Amy. I'm thinking of another scripture. Is it in the first chapter? Let me see here. Bear with me, Salakia. Let me pause it. Okay, I had to do a little bit of digging. This is uh, Second Address, Chapter Two, and uh, I start at twelve. I start at eleven. It says, "Their glory also will I take unto me, and give these the everlasting tabernacles, which I have prepared for them. Prepared for who? The elect. It says they shall have the tree of life." For an ornament of sweet savior. 
they shall neither labor nor be weary. It says, go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Take heaven and earth to witness. For I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good. For I live, saith the Lord. All right. So really, everything is all played out. You know, manifest. Because everything is actually done. But we have to manifest it. Okay, through this movie. And we like to say here at Great Millstone, this is the Lord's movie. So it says, go and ye shall receive. Receive what? Salvation. Pray for few days unto you. Why we pray for a few days? Because we want the Lord to shorten these days for the elect's sake. You know, to end the wickedness. To end these Edomites. It says that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. All right, we have to watch and wait for Yahweh Shah to return because our kingdom is prepared. I believe that's John 14, where he said, I go and prepare a place for you. And my father's house has many mansions. Uh, verse 14, take heaven and earth to witness, for I have broken the evil in pieces. Who is the evil? Who's ultimately the evil? Esau, Edom, starting with these Rothschilds, these international bankers. It says, and created the good. So the Lord is creating good now. All right, by starting off uh, with his prophets who out teaching his word in season and out of season, in season and out. All right, it says, For I live, saith the Lord, and our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai do live. Okay, now, oh, so I can, let me uh, go back to 2 Edra 7, and I just want to read a few verses here, maybe the 12, and I hope this lesson is edifying. This is 2 Edra 7 and 1. And when I had made an end of speaking these words, there was sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the nights before. All right. So this is Edris once again encountering with the Lord's angel to get revelation. It says, and he said unto me, up Edris, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, speak on my power. Then said he unto me, the sea is set in a wide place. That it, that it might be deep and great, but put the case of the interest were narrow and like a river. All right. So you have to, you know, image these uh, thoughts in your mind, which is these words. OK, this account, this uh, revelation given to address. So, you know, you should be thinking about the sea. OK, which is in a plate, a wide place, which represents the kingdom. All right, that is might. It says that it might be deep and great, but put a case. The entrance were narrow and like a river. All right, so you know to get to this place is very. The entrance of it is very narrow, like a river. You know you got to walk that fine line. You got to walk that path, and it could be danger. It's danger on the path. You don't know what you're going to encounter, but your goal is to get to that place. All right, which is called the uh, the wide place, and it might be deep and great. It says, verse 5, Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? All right, so you can't climb up some other way. You have to go through the straight gate. You have to go through the narrow. And what this means is you're going to suffer in this truth. Okay, to be with Yahweh Shai, to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai suffered, then that means that his heirs, his joint uh, men, women who believe in him are going to suffer as well because he testified that this place is wicked and we testify it. All right, it is a wicked, sinful generation on the earth. This is a, a wicked, sinful uh, world, you know, ruled by Esau and these other nations. So it says, who then could go into the sea to look upon it? And to rule it, if he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? So if you think you could be a, you know, a studio prophet, you know, and um, not catch hell in his truth, you know, pay your way out. You know, you might, uh, you got false prophets who basically took that Judas purse. They sold their soul because they didn't want to go through the sufferings. They don't want to look bad. They have a reputation. Hey, guess what? They're not going to enter into the Lord rest. 
All right, because they didn't eat this truth with faith, as we read in Hebrews, the fourth chapter. All right, so the point of this lesson is that, you know, you got to go through the straight gate. And it's best for you young brothers, you know, I'm young myself, and um, just my humble advice, watch Great Millstone. You know, keep watching the brothers, the elders, the leaders of the camps, the brothers in the camps who faithfully put out the work, you know, following the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, which is... um. Starting with our heads here at Great Millstone, the apostles, down to the elders, you know, that, you know, you need to watch so you can learn to go through the straight gate. Don't come up some other way. You got plenty, many uh, camps out here which are new, and they just watched. They saw what men of the Lord done. They seen Great Millstone. They took from this camp, that camp, and now they're doing their own thing, and then they have their own little doctrine. You know, there's only one doctrine, okay? And that's the 100% truth, you know? Like, for an example, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, all right? The vaccine plays along with that. Not saying that the vaccine is the mark of the beast, but, you know, that's, you know, you shouldn't be taking a vaccine or be telling people who believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua to take a vaccine. You know, that's clearly a man that has a lying spirit on him, and he's going to lead whoever he's leading into destruction, you know, so uh, verse seven, excuse me, verse six, it says, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a, bro a broad field and is full of all good things. OK, that's the kingdom. The entrance thereof is narrow and it is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water. OK. And it says, only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that could, that there could but one man go there at once. You know, now when I read this, the images come in my head is um, Indiana Jones, how he went, you know, through those caves and had to travel through certain paths just to get to the goal in which he wanted. You know, it was very dangerous. You know, when you think of this, you think, I think of, you know, like, there's a mountain, right? And there's only a bridge that gets to that mountain to get into that mountain. You know, you can't fly over. You can't come underneath it. You have to only travel on that path, and it's scary, all right? That's as the scriptures is uh, putting in motion, you know, of your thoughts right now. It says, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water and only and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. So that means that no man could save you. All right. You have to follow this truth with a sincere heart. You have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, you know, brothers are there to be a crutch and to help, you know, increase your faith. But we all have to, you know, bite down and uh, seek that penny, which is of salvation. Okay, uh, verse 9. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Exactly. How are you going to receive the kingdom on this side, being of the first resurrection? Okay, being delivered, being with Yahweh Shai, you know, if you don't go through the... If you don't be, uh, you know, go through the fire, man, all right? You don't go through the burns and the trials and tribulations, the persecutions, you know? The Lord said he chastening the ones he loved, man. And if he don't chasten you, then you're the bastards. You're not sons, you know? So that's another scripture. All right, verse 10. And I said, it is so, Lord. Then, then he said unto me, even so also is Israel portion, all right? Because... For their sake I made the world, and when Adam transgressed my statues, then was decreed that none that now is done. It says, Then were the entries of the world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. There are but few and evil, full of perils, and very pitiful painful. Excuse me. Alright, so that just explains the whole point, you know, of what the Lord is talking to Edris about. He's talking about Israel in particular, the elect. All right, and because of the transgression, uh, with Adam in the transgression, even though Eve transgressed, but Adam in the transgression, 
you know, life became hard. We die. We go back into the earth, you know, then we come back. That's what you call reincarnation. Okay, re means back. Carnation, I believe, is flesh or go or the or is a seed. You know, I could do a quick look up, but I hope you uh you know get the drift. Alright, so anyway, uh that's that's it. That's all I got. I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Baha Shimra Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.